What's up, everybody? Um, just a real quick story um, of how gold was written. I just uploaded a live video today. Um, gold came out pretty quick. Uh, I actually purchased the rights to the guitar because I didn't write the actual guitar. A little secret. Um, most of the stuff, like 99% of the stuff, I write. But I do purchase beats every now and then. If I find something that I really enjoy. So I purchased the rights to that particular guitar structure, the chords. And um, and then I started rewriting it myself. But as I was listening to it, I was in the state of mind where... So a lot of you know my opinions on crowdfunding. Where an artist, a band, or whatever will uh, set up a GoFundMe page or whatever it is and asked you to donate money I find it offensive I don't not I don't know if offensive is the right word I found I find it like that it that it irks me inside and I just don't like it I don't agree with it I find something wrong about it um, to ask people to give you money so you can go in the studio record your music come back out and sell it to them makes no sense to me get your ass out go play shows work make the money in the whole 2020 quarantine thing do live virtual streaming make money from that give them something to pay for period you'll never see me ask for money you'll never see me with a gofundme page asking you hey can you afford my studio bill no i don't work that way i find it disrespectful and i don't know but besides that that's what gold was kind of written about my passion for music and how I was being attacked because people thought I was attacking them personally. I was just stating the fact because a while back, this is a few years ago, people were actually, I was seeing a lot of artists do it. And I still see it today. I, I don't understand it. I'll never understand it. But anyways, gold kind of came out quick. I had the, the melody. I was It was pouring down rain. I looked out this window over here and I just came up with the line. Sit here staring out the window, love to watch it rain. Woke up again today, so why the fuck should I complain? And fuck, from there, whoosh, I just started going. I hit record, and the lyrics started coming out. Um, and then I had the line that came. So I feel like if you do something, you lose nothing. And if you do nothing, you're losing something. At least that's how I was feeling. And that's how, you know, it's pretty much a fact. Um... This video is going to be quick, so uh, if you have any questions about the, the song or any other songs, leave them in the comments. Um, that line eventually created the chorus because I knew that when I said do, do nothing to lose something in, in that part, I knew it was about creating. And I knew this song was going to be about creating music or creating art or whatever it is you're passionate about and so that's when I decided to write turn your waste into gold the only way to survive is to sell your soul and it had been a couple years that sold came out and we worked so hard on it spent so much money recording it and it really never did anything because we didn't put anything behind the the publishing of it and the you know the distribution of it it got on the radio a couple times a couple of different stations, local local stuff, but sold really just, I don't know, it's still a banger. I love it, and it sounds great. Bass-driven, love it. But, so, this song was originally called Sold Part 2, Gold. And then I just eliminated that working title and called it Gold. Because essentially it was about turning your waste product, whatever that may be, into something like gold. And make it strong. So any junk that I had, any trash, whether it was in the studio in my files and I could find something to rework, I did it. I just busted my ass. And all last year, during the whole pandemic, I did the same thing. I wrote nonstop. And I'm still writing. I don't stop. Um, you want to talk about drive. When it comes to drive, I got a shit ton of it when it comes to writing, at least. Um far as producing and finishing tracks well that shit can get costly too which goes back to i don't ask for money I, I mean if somebody wants to sponsor me that's a whole different story because 
we're both winning in that in that situation and i don't know i just i felt the need to express that opinion again about the crowdfunding because this song was kind of what, what it stemmed from it's about working and earning it's you can't just be given shit i mean fuck i'd love if somebody would just a bunch of people would give me money so i could go to the studio but i would never ask for it and I would never create a GoFundMe page so you could give me money. That's not, I mean, that's just, I don't know. I find it weird that people do that and, and feel good about that. But Gold was, it's up there with Recover um, as far as the songs go. I love it. I'm super passionate about that song. And um, one of my favorites that I'm most proud of. The other part was the fast rapping type part that I like to put in it. And it's, um, what is it? Staring at the clock up on the wall that never stops. Blare my music loud as fuck until they call the cops. I'm living my dream in my head and I see all the people in front of me screaming and living my dream. Fuck, I can't do it unless I do it fast. Le living my dream in my head and I'm screaming and singing fucking shit. Let me just do it for you. Staring at the clock up on the wall that never stops. Blare my music loud as fuck until they call the cops. I'm living my dream in my head and I see all the people in front of me screaming and singing along with the words of the verses that came from the voices that play in my head. So, <clears throat> that line's super important. It's about living my dream in my head, seeing the people singing and screaming along to the words of the voices that came from my head. That's pretty much it. I mean, it's a badass song. If you don't like it, oh well. <laughs> 